Hello and welcome back to Pop-Up Sports. Some more bad news out of Major League Baseball today. Two Philadelphia Phillies tested positive for the COVID virus. Their game tonight against the New York Yankees has been postponed. Also, their weekend series against the Blue Jays has been postponed. No word on when these games are going to be made up. Uh, also, the Miami Marlins, almost called them Florida again, Miami Marlins have not played all week. The earliest they could be back, people are saying, is Monday. So they've missed at least six games. The Phillies, I believe, four games. So what's going to happen with the, uh, they're going to have to play the games. Uh, will they be double headers? I would assume down the road, you can't extend the season. I don't think you can extend the season a week or two because that just would, that just what is not going to work. Will the season continue? Uh, I, I still don't believe it's going to continue. I th still think it, down the road, there's going to be too many, vi too many people coming down with the COVID virus and it's going to be canceled. Again, I hope I'm wrong. I, I, I will I will celebrate if I'm wrong because I'm enjoying the season so far. It's been, it's been a lot of fun to have baseball back and have sports back in general just to keep your mind off what's going on in 2020 because it's it's been a it's been a rough year for a lot of us uh, and other baseball news the cubs yesterday turned to triple play first time since 1997 i believe or did they did bryant trap the ball that's that's the debate but it wasn't reviewable the ruling on the on the field the ruling on the field sounded like football the call on the field was an out triple play stands so hats off to the cubs for the triple play and yesterday, Mike Yastrzemski had two home runs against the San Diego Padres. The second one was a walk-off winner for the uh, for the San Francisco Giants. Uh, you know, I, I I really thought that the strength of the Padres was going to be the bullpen. I know it's early; it's only been a week, but so far the bullpen has been the weakest part of the Padres. Two of the losses are directly related to the bullpen. Again, we'll see what happens. You know, it, it could be early on the season. You know, it could be your you know dead arm, but we'll see what we'll see. But again, I'd like to see a stronger bullpen from my San Diego Padres. But hats off to Mike Yastrzemski. It's, it's always fun to see a walk off home run, even if it's not your your team. Also, I had a, a thought about the cardboard cutouts. I like the cardboard cutouts, but they're all sitting. They're all sitting. You need a few cardboard cutouts cutouts standing up in front, just standing for no reason. You know, like fans do. Blocking the view of the other cardboard cutouts behind them because that's what happens at Major League Base. So we want to be realist, realistic. We need to have those cardboard cutouts standing in front like this and just you know looking on their phone and just looking around, looking for the cotton candy guy or the or the the hot dog guy vendor, which they're not there. But you know that's what if you've been to a Major League Baseball game, you know that's what happens. So I'd like to see that. Also, uh, NFL is going to be uh, starting training camp pretty soon here. I think it's it, they're reporting any day now. Uh, will that last? Will that season be completed? I doubt it. But again, I'm being negative, so we'll see what happens. I, again, I hope I'm wrong. Love watching the NFL. Also, uh, big news for the Chargers. Joey Bosa signed a uh, huge contract. I'm shocked that he re-signed with the Chargers. I really thought that he'd play out his contract and move on, but I was wrong. I, I can I can live with that. And he signed, and he got eighty-seven million dollars guaranteed, which is a large chunk of money. I mean, I, that that kind of sways you one way or the other. It's, he almost got like quarterback type money, um, but it's five years, one hundred thirty-five million dollars. Again, like eighty-seven million guaranteed. And we also have a lot of players opting out of this season. I, it's like half the Patriots, it seemed like, have opted out of the season. You you got to respect them. A lot of them have wives that are pregnant or they have young kids and and they just don't want to risk you know, infecting their family which you have to respect i mean i hope player i hope fans aren't there out there criticizing these players for taking steps to protect their family it's their choice we need to respect it because we don't know what we would do in that situation but that's all we got um hopefully we'll be back next couple days to tell you what else is going on in the world of sports but thanks for watching subscribe tell a friend and i'll be back bye